hey guys it's natasha right welcome back to my channel so happy to have you here i hope you like my shades i love them too i thought i'd just drop them in for my intro here's what we're gonna talk about disappointment today because everybody faces disappointments So guys, I've had so many disappointments just since 2022 has started. I can't even name them, let me tell you. But guess what? We must keep pushing on. And I'm sure you have faced some things too that you're thinking to yourself, what the hell? <laughs> Why is this happening to me? And um, some things that have really crushed your spirit. And so I just want to share very quickly three things. I won't spend longer than five minutes on here. Um, just to let you know that, listen, you can actually pick the pieces up after disappointments. It's not to kill you. All right. So the first thing is that disappointments, rejection, heartbreak, um, <clears throat> issues, sometimes they're all meant to happen. Right. And what I mean by that is that they serve a purpose. After disappointments, you get better. After having rejection, sometimes you find the right opportunity. Um, there is a reason behind behind all these different things. You can't see it now, but as you move further, as you get older, as you grow more mature, when you look back in retrospect, it all starts to click. Okay, so this is why this happened. This is why that had, had to happen. This is why I, I it was good that I didn't get through to that school. And so the puzzles will start putting themselves together and you will have a bigger picture, a bigger understanding. And so don't stress yourself too much. Other opportunities will come. Um, so bounce right back up, get up, stop worrying about it. The second thing is that disappointment, rejection, all these different things, they're there as lessons. What did you do wrong? What could you have done better? You didn't get through at that job interview. Was there something that you said? Was it something you said? Was it how you dressed? Is it that your resume wasn't put together correctly? What is it? Find what that is, work on it right if it's a failed relationship what part did you have to play in the failure and so you have to really look at all these different things the third thing is that every single disappointment every heartbreak every single thing that could go wrong you didn't get that promotion on the job it's because you probably weren't prepared for it <laughs> sometimes we miss the opportunities because our preparation is not full it's not in its ripened state. You know how you have a fruit and when it's ripe, it's ready to be eaten. Sometimes you're not there yet. And because of that, you, you need more processing. So when the disappointments happen, sometimes you need a little bit more time to prepare. You need to process a little bit so that you are at your tip top shape. And so don't take disappointments too much to heart get the lessons from it and move right along other opportunities will come right life is sweet but life can be bitter also it's up to you to make the best of it bye guys